Welcome back everyone. Today's video is a squishy package. I have technically have two packages, although the main one is from Jenna Lynn Squishies. So as you all know, I'm looking for the perfect chocolate scented squishy. One of you in the comments, actually a couple of you recommended I get the Mr. Choco doll squishy. I, I can't remember the company that makes it. I did find it on Mercari for a pretty good price and I bought it. Unfortunately, it was somehow lost in the mail. I've done all the tricks. I've talked to my postman and he said it was delivered to my house, but I guess someone may have just taken it out of my mailbox along with another package that was arriving that same day. So unfortunately, that package is gone. I don't have that squishy and I haven't found a good price for it yet. But the reason I'm mentioning this is because the seller on Mercari, um, I made sure to leave positive feedback because having someone steal something from my mailbox is not their fault and I don't fault them for it going missing. They did still send me um, a gift that I did, was not even expecting. It just showed up yesterday. So the first thing that they sent me is this sticker sheet of arcade machines, which is really nice. I love this retro stuff as well as a neat little note that just says that they're very sorry that it somehow went missing and that they wanted to give me this as just like a gift to make up for it, which is not, like, I don't blame you at all for someone stealing something out of my mailbox. I understand it can happen sometimes. It's a shame that it happened, but, you know, that's that's life sometimes. But thank you so much to the seller, Star Yuki on Mercari, for sending me another squishy. This is the Blampo Pineapple Donut. And it does smell really nice, actually. It's not as a strong pineapple smell as the Punimaru pineapple donut, but it's still a very nice scent. And I think this is the rainbow version. I know there's a regular pineapple looking version. It's very squishy, a little dense feeling, but not in a bad way, not in a hard to squish way, in a way that makes it seem like it's not gonna rip very easily. So it's very nice, very squishy. Smells very good too. So once again, thank you so much to Star Yuki for this extra little gift. You absolutely did not have to do that. But I really do appreciate you trying to make a, a situation better. All right, moving on. The next package is from Jenna Lynn Squishies. It came in this very adorable little owl bag. Inside the bag is the typical Gentleman Squishy Ziploc bag that has their little mascot on it. Very cute, uh, like Sunday rabbit or something. And you can see all the squishies that I got. Here's the back, it's fabric. All right, and the first squishy that I have is the Polly and Dodo Squishy. This is Dodo, I believe it's a seal. And this is by Popular Boxes. It's just a little mascot. I think it's made by Punimaru, if I'm correct. And it comes with a charm. Oh wow, it's very hollow feeling, very squishy. It says popular on the bottom. I hope you can see that. It's a little hard to see. So here is the little charm that it comes with. It's very cute. It's an acrylic charm, so it's not one of those bendable ones. It's a hard acrylic. It's very cute. Very summery. I think it really fits with the current time. I really like popular boxes for their very cute hamster mascot. Although I think they're kind of pushing it. They kind of are becoming like creamy candy where they make nothing but yummy bear stuff. And it's getting kind of old. <laughs> but I am glad that they're still doing the pastry theme. Because I like food squishies more. But this little guy was just so cute and round, I had to get him. I think he has strawberry drizzle on the top. And because he was made by Punimaru, I was kind of expecting him to have that rough outer texture, which he does not. He's very soft. Ooh, and it kind of has a generic sweet squishy smell. Not bread, just sweet strawberries. A little faster to rise, but very very squishy. It kind of reminds me of a Flampo squishy, the, the strawberry cake, not the one I just got. Very cute. One more squish. Adorable. I also forgot to mention that there is a hole on the top of this one for the ball chain. It's kind of in there, 
and you can definitely feel it but there's still so much space around the squishy that it's not very noticeable unless you specifically hit there so I don't see it as that much of a problem okay the next squishy is the mini fat papa avocado squishy I had one of these in a large size but I don't know I just it didn't resonate with me but I do still like it so I got a mini one really like the packaging. I think the packaging for this one matches more than the older one that was blue. Here's a little charm. It's a rubber, it's a rubber strap with a ball chain. And here's the squishy. Very cute. Ooh, I love it. It just feels more textured than the larger size. I don't know why. Very textured on the back. So it's not the slowest to rise. But it is very squishy and it feels sturdy. I can't really tell what the scent is. I think they're tr trying to go for a watermelon smell like the original, but it's just not very strong. I smell more chemicals than I do watermelon. However, I do think it's a good size. I was expecting it to be a little smaller, so I'm pretty happy with the size that it is. The only disappointing thing is the smell, but it still smells kind of good. It's a little soapier, I don't know. It's weird, but very cute. All right, the next one is this Hello Kitty Squishy Sweets Squishy. This is one of the newer series. I didn't get this one from Japan because I knew a lot of shops were going to get this. And if I can get it for cheap already here in America, I'd much rather do that. Just because I don't want to wait for it. This is by NIC, which stands for New and Creative. The first thing it comes with is this gold ball chain. It's very short. Nothing special there, but here's the squishy. Ever since I bought that Sunday Hello Kitty Donut Squishy, I've been really into the Hello Kitty Donuts. Oh, kind of has this marking on the back, like there was something glued to it and the, the stuff is still there. I unfortunately am too late to get the Halloween donut, but maybe one day because that one was really nice. I just was never really into the Hello Kitty Donuts. Very cute. I mainly got the sprinkle one, sprinkle ones because ASMR. <laughs> but I think for the these, they're not that um, glued on there. So I may have to glue a couple of these back because a lot of them are falling. And they smell like chemicals. They don't have a scent. I am very happy that they come in this bag though. It's very cute. I like the design. And if the sprinkles are falling, you can just stick them back in here and there's no risk of them falling out. Because with previous bags, they always had the hole for the keychain for the tag to go through. And that was always a problem whenever I put sprinkles back into the bag because they would just fall out of that hole. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll feature the extras first just because I just saw something that made me excited. Um, so the first extra that Jenna Lynn sent is this little ball bun sorry <laughs> little bun with the face very cute face I love it and I'm hoping it's sticky I feel like it is if I can get it out oh my gosh it is definitely sticky oh that's the best kind of bun very cute so I'm going to put that back because the sticky ones always get dirty really fast. So thank you, Jenna Lynn, for that. And next, I just saw this in the bag. It is a mechanical pencil 
in this very cute style. I don't know what it is about these types of pens that come from Japan, but they're just so cute. Love how there's a design up there and then a little mascot at the top. It does kind of suck that you don't have an eraser because it's a pencil. I mainly buy the pens that look like this, but this is also really nice. So thank you, Jenna Lynn, for that. Oh, there's more, actually. Man, Jenna Lynn is really awesome when it comes to extras. So she also sent this candy, which I cannot have, so it's going to go to one of my siblings. And then there was also this little bag that I'm assuming probably has stickers. Oh, yes, it does. So here we have the Jenna Lynn logo, as well as a frog tattoo. I don't really like frogs, so this is going to go to someone else, but thank you anyway. Then we have a little lion. These look like they were printed by herself. A cat and a cup. And two of these pretzels? What is this? <laughs> a donut, maybe? I'm not sure, honestly, but it's cute. So thank you so much, Jenalyn, for the extras. If nothing else, Jenalyn's prices are not the best out there, but um, you do get a lot of cool stuff, and presentation-wise, she does the best. So she's definitely, or they're definitely a shop that I would highly recommend you shop at. But moving on to the last squishy, I am very excited for this Polly head bun. At first I was going to get the blue one because I'm, I know it's going to be blueberry scented, but I already have one of their squishies that's blueberry, and I have a lot of squishies that are blueberry scented, so I decided to give the purple one a shot. It says, do not eat, not suitable for children under six years of age. Love that. It's quite big too. And I knew from looking at their Instagram it wasn't going to be the slowest to rise, but I'm still hoping the squish is good. Now with these squishies that don't rise very slowly, they very much remind me of a pillow, which is really comforting. So here is the squishy. Very big, wow. I was not expecting it to be that big. This is so soft. This is definitely a type of slow rising that people who aren't into the really, really slow rising ones that take forever to rise can definitely get into. It says popular on the back. I really like the paint job. I really do. So the back bread is a little glossy, but then the front is matte. And the texture of it is just really nice. Super soft. A mix of a really slim pillow and a marshmallow. I love it. Mm. And this has a very generic sweet smell as well. <laughs> It kind of has a strawberry smell, but mainly I smell bread. So I'm not that crazy about the, the bread smell, but it is still very cute. And I actually might get the blue one for the blueberry smell because this is a divine, very squishy, wonderful product. So I do recommend these, especially if you're not as crazy about the really, really slow rising ones. This one's very nice to squish. It's very airy, very round, lots to to grab onto. And that is it for my Jenna Lynn Squishies package. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, Jenna Lynn's prices are not the best out there, but they make up for it in presentation and she, they occasionally have a lot of really good coupons. I bought this using a, I think it was a 20% off coupon that they recently had. So everything came out to actually be cheaper, even with shipping um, than like Squishy Shop or any other shops that I usually buy from, even buying it from Japan. So like always, I will leave links to all of these products in the description. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you in my next video.